Hello everyone, interesting exponential equation today. We have 16 to the power x minus 12 to the power x equal to 9 to the power x. And with the first side, this equation is real hard because we have all exponents, we have all different bases, but I want to show you a really good trick how can we solve this equation easily. First of all, take a look. We need to divide both sides by, for example, in our case, let's divide by 9 to the power x. So we divide both sides by 9 to the power x. If we divide both sides by 9 to the power x, we need to divide all, all elements by this 9 to the power x. So we will have 16 to the power x dividing by 9 to the power x and minus 12 to the power x dividing by 9 to the power x and in the end 9 to the power x dividing by 9 to the power x. So we divide both sides by this 9 to the power x. What are we going to do next? We need to know a really good rule. If we have, I'll write this rule right here on the right. If we have, for example, a to the power x dividing by b to the power x, we can write it as a over b all raised to the power x in parentheses. So let's use this rule in every of these case because we have all different bases and we can raise this e to the power x. So we will have 16 over 9 to the power x minus 12 over 9 to the power x and equal to, as you can see, this all both nominator and denominator are the same, so we can divide it. it. So we'll have only one. Cancel and cancel this. So what we're we going to do next? Take a look. 16 at 9 and 9 is really good numbers because I see right now that this 16 is really good to express as 4 square and this 9 as 3 square and raised to the power x and minus we will have 4 over 3 to the power x. We just cancel both sides, denominator and denominator by 3. So we will have 4 over 3 to the power x and equal to equal to 1. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. We have the same case. We have different bases, but same exponent. Our case right here. So we can raise 4 over 3 all raised to the second power. So we will have 4 third raised to the second power and all raised to the power x because we have x right here the main exponent and minus 4 over 3 raised to the power x equal to equal to 1. So now I want to show you a rule of interchange, the really good rule that we need right here because if we have e to the power x raised to the power b we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power to the power x. So we can swap these, these powers, these powers. So in our case, we need to swap x and, and 2. What we'll have? As a result, we'll have a really interesting case. We will have 4 over 3 to the power x and all raised to the second power and minus 4 third x equal to, equal to 1. So take a look. We have 4 third to the power x and 4 third to the power x. We can write a substitution. So let this 4 third to the power x will be equal to t and of course t is positive because this is exponential function and it not cannot be get this negative value. So t is greater than 0. So what we will have? Take a look right here we have 4 third to the power x equal to t but right here we have t square. So t square and minus 4 third t to the power x will be our t and I bring this one on the left. Minus 1 equal to 0. And let's solve this quadratic equation. What we will have as a result? As a result, first of all, I want to uh, find a square root, so b square minus 4ac at first. We, we, will have, we will have minus b, it will be 1, minus minus plus and 4ac 4 and 1 1 will be 4. So square root will be equal to square root of 5. And now right now we can easily write, I write this right here. We will have t1 equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and t second will be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 dividing by 2. So we will find two roots. What we're going to do next? Take a look. We write that t need to be positive greater than 0. And we have two roots. This one, of course, will be positive because we will have positive nominator and positive denominator. So as a result, we'll have positive expression. But right here, as you can see, 
square root of 5 is a little bit greater than 2. If we subtract 1 minus 2 a little bit, we will have minus. And dividing by plus, so 2 is plus, we will have minus. So our second root, we need to reject it because we will have a negative negative t. But we write it here, the t need to be need to be positive. And we, of course, need only one root, t1 equal to 1 plus square root of 5 dividing by 2. So let's let's solve this equation. We have 4 third x equal to t and t equal to this one. So we will have a final exponential equation. So 4 third to the power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 dividing by by 2. And how can we solve this equation? Of course we have x in our power, so we need to, to find log from both of the side. So if we plug in log right here, so 4 third and base 4 third as well to the power x equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 dividing by 2 base of 4 third. We will have that this x goes right here and this expression give us give us 1. So we will have our x equal to this one on the right on the right side. So log 1 plus square root of 5 dividing by 2 base of 4 third. And moreover we can we can simplify this because we all know that we don't need this base for third. We can easily write our final answer using using log property that our x is equal to equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 dividing by 2 and we all divide by the log log for for third and this this will be our will be our answer so x equal to log denominator and denominator of course we can find this x and we can easily check it using using our our telephone so this is this is our answer really interesting algebra problem so we have all different bases we have exponent firstly dividing by 9 to the power x secondly remember a few exponent and power rules this is a rule of interchange really good really good rule really good rule to know this <clears throat> and a substitution one moment is t is, is positive and right here we reject one one negative root so we will have our final answer we can leave this answer in this way but we want, can simplify this in way of fraction so nominator and denominator so we can easily find this this value using our telephone so if you still have any question write a question in the comment write a suggestion in the comment thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos